Could we be witnessing a sensational return to Stamford Bridge? Recent reports suggest that a former Chelsea star is eyeing an exit from Crystal Palace and has his heart set on coming back to his boyhood club. With the Blues in desperate need of defensive reinforcements, this could be the perfect match. Stick around as we dive into all the juicy details and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to stay updated on everything Chelsea. Chelsea fans, let's dive right into some exciting news. It seems like Mark Gahey is showing interest in a potential return to Stamford Bridge, and this could be a significant boost for the Blues. Reports indicate that if he were to leave Crystal Palace, he would love to come back to his boyhood club. You got to admit, there's something special about a player wanting to return to where it all started. Now, let's not forget the context here. Palace is struggling this season, currently sitting in the relegation zone with just one win. They've lost some key players over the summer, including Michael Aulis to Bayern Munich and Joachim Anderson to Fulham. It's clear they're in a tough spot, and Gay might be the next star to seek greener pastures. After his impressive performances for England at Euro 2024, it's no surprise that he caught the eye of several clubs, including Newcastle. Gay's journey started at Chelsea, where he came through the academy ranks, although he only made two appearances for the first team before moving to Palace in 2021 on a five-year deal. Now, with Chelsea actively looking for a new center back, the timing feels right for a reunion. According to Team Talk, Gay's affection for Chelsea puts the club in a strong position to land him, especially since they have first refusal to match any offers that come in. Plus, there's that 20% sell-on clause that makes it more financially feasible for Chelsea compared to other suitors. With Gay's contract running until 2026, it's likely that a deal could be struck at a lower price than the £70 million Palace reportedly wanted during the summer transfer window. And here's an interesting twist. Trevo Chalaba is currently on loan at Palace, which opens up the possibility for Chelsea to use him as part of a deal. Imagine that, Chalaba going the other way while we bring back Gehi. It could be a win-win situation for both clubs. As we look ahead, we also hear rumors linking Chelsea with Benfica's Tomas Araujo and Antonio Silva. It's clear that the club is casting a wide net in the market, particularly with Axel de Seisai expected to leave, potentially heading to Napoli. This makes the Gehi situation even more relevant. How do you think these potential signings will impact our defensive lineup? I'll be honest, I'm torn. On one hand, bringing Gehi back feels right. He's a player who knows the club and has proven himself at the highest level. But on the other hand, we've seen how quickly things can change in football. Are we certain this is the best path forward? I want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you believe we should prioritize Gehi or should we explore other options? As fans, we're always looking for the best moves that will help Chelsea climb back to the top. The emotions tied to these decisions are immense. We've all experienced the highs and lows of supporting this club, and the prospect of welcoming back a familiar face like Gehi could reignite that passion. So, what do you think? Is Gehi the right fit for Chelsea's future? Or should we be looking elsewhere? I genuinely want to hear your opinions here in the comments. Share your expectations, frustrations, or any insights you might have regarding our transfer strategy. Hey Chelsea fans, let's dive into some of the latest transfer news that could shake up our beloved club. So, we've heard the buzz around Patrick Dorgu, the 20-year-old wingback from Lecce, who's being linked with a move to the Premier League. Now, Manchester United has reportedly set their sights on him with a bid of around 25 million pounds to beat out Tottenham and us, Chelsea. This is a player who has already made a significant impact, scoring three goals and 14 appearances this season. And he's versatile enough to play both as a left back and a right winger. Now, as much as I appreciate the idea of Dorga donning the blue jersey, I can't help but feel a bit conflicted. The way Ruben Amorim is building Manchester United, it seems they might be making a serious push for him, especially since they need to bolster their left flank. They're clearly prioritizing this position, and who can blame them? 
Wingbacks are crucial in modern football, especially in a system that relies heavily on width and pace. But here's the kicker. Napoli is also in the mix, and they could potentially close a deal while leaving him on loan at Lecce. This is something we need to keep an eye on. English clubs traditionally go for immediate signings, but if Napoli can get creative with their offer, it could sway Lecce towards them instead of us, or United. I mean, would you rather see Dorga developing in Italy or jumping straight into the Premier League? Personally, I think it could be beneficial for him to get more experience before making that leap. Now let's shift gears a bit. Chelsea has been linked with other left-back options too, like Milos Kerkez from Bournemouth, Anthony Robinson from Fulham, and even big names like Alfonso Davies and Theo Hernandez. The question is, are we serious about Dorgu, or is he just another name on a long list? I'm all for scouting young talent but we need to ensure we're making the right moves that will bolster our squad for the long haul. And speaking of potential moves, we're also hearing reports of Chelsea joining the race for Malik Tillman from PSV. This kid has been lighting it up with 12 goal contributions this season. He can play various midfield roles, which could add some much needed depth to our lineup. However, there's a snag with his release clause, and we might have to wait until summer to snag him at a better price. I don't know about you, but I'm torn. Do we take the risk now or play the long game? Every day that passes without securing new talent puts us at risk of falling behind our rivals. Meanwhile, Joshua Xerxes is reportedly not looking to leave Chelsea in January, which is a bit of a relief. He's been under pressure, but it seems he wants to prove himself to Amor. I respect that determination, but I can't help but wonder if he's the right fit for our system moving forward. It's clear that we need to be ruthless in our evaluations. If a player isn't fitting, we need to make those tough calls. With all these developments swirling around, I can't help but feel a sense of urgency. The transfer window is just around the corner, and every decision we make will significantly impact our season. Are we going to be proactive and secure the players we need, or will we let this opportunity slip through our fingers? So, Chelsea fans, what do you think? Should we make a serious push for Dorgu, or are there other players out there that you believe would fit our system better? I want to hear your thoughts. Drop your opinions in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all things Chelsea. You won't want to miss any of the action as we head into what promises to be a thrilling transfer window. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive all the latest updates.